All right, Matt. It's a pretty great day for you. You closed yeah. really hard at the end. Well, you uh, didn't see, we didn't see you on the broadcast, but like, when we looked through the results and we're like, whoa, top 10. Top 10 was one of the goals. I mean, you know, I wanted to be top American. I'm not going to deny that. And I think training in Boston and living in Boston and knowing the course better than anyone else, I had a shot. But Scott Fable, man, he knows how to be top American here. He knows this course well, too. Yeah. So. How early is so it? Since you weren't with the front pack, mm-hmm. the decision making at the very beginning when those two packs splintered, did you just stick with Scott? Like, take us through what yeah, happened I in mean, those back hills. For better or worse, Scott's got a bit of a bullseye on his back at Boston, um, and so I just stuck with him. But we still went out really hot, like uh, 30 seconds faster through the half than last year. Mm-hmm. I think our first 5K was like 14:20 something, which is really blazing. I mean, I know it's all downhill. Um, and so when the decisions were being made, it was more like, can I keep this pace up? Like, even this feels too hot. Do I drop back a little bit more? But, um, you know, there are really talented runners surrounding me, like uh, Nico and, and Scott. And I figured this group here is going to produce the top American. So uh, I got to gotta be in it. So preparation for this one, I mean, how well did you, how much did you practice on the course? And like the training for you, what, what made you think it was going to be this good of a day? Well, I wouldn't call the day fast particularly. I would have loved weather like last year where it was like sunny and cooler. Um, Cause that's what we get a lot of in Boston. All winter it's windy here. So I knew there was going to be wind. I didn't know which direction it was going to come from, but you take the good with the bad. Um, but preparation, I mean, I live five miles from Heartbreak Hill, so I will oftentimes just run five miles there, run up the hill just to, to know it, and then run home. Um, I run like the last four miles of the course from Chestnut Hill, mm-hmm. basically to the finish line a couple times a week. So really, I, I don't think there's any way anyone could know the course, especially the hard part of the course, better than I do. Um, but obviously that doesn't make up for just fitness, you know, there are some really fit guys here and they showed it today. Where are we at right now in terms of you balancing, what was it, work, research, yeah, all that yeah. stuff? How's that been going? Uh, I really love my job at MIT, so I'm a postdoc there and we're doing some really cool stuff with um, trying to make exploration for new chemicals and new molecules totally autonomous using machine learning and I work with a lot of really talented colleagues and okay. I can't imagine giving that up but it's very difficult and I think some of my co-workers are probably kind of happy that Patriots Day has finally come because I'll be able to dedicate the full like 40 to 50 hours a week they expect instead of like getting out of there at 5 o'clock every day and showing up at 10 because you know I had a workout in the morning um, but I mean, I'm still putting in like 35, 40 hour weeks every week. So it, it's difficult, uh, but like super rewarding. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't give it up if I could. I remember 2020 trials and just you being up at the front of that race. And like, really, that was a, a the, the most high profile coming out party we've yeah, seen. Yeah. And so now this time around where everyone's kind of in their head thinking, backwards from Orlando mm-hmm. how are you mapping out the rest of the year and what is a performance like today do for your confidence I'm definitely feeling really confident about it but I don't think it changes much I think the race in Orlando in February is going to be totally different from this one it's probably not going to be super hilly it's going to be hot and humid um, and the preparation is just going to have to be a little different uh, I think I'll, I'll be prepared and I'm excited for it but there's still a lot of pieces that we have to figure out between now and then um, especially when you look at how the American Marathon on the men's side looks today compared to three, four years ago for the 2020 trials. I think the landscape's a little different, um, and there's a lot of young talent that is going to be really tough to contend with. Yeah. So your PR on paper is now what? It's still 20- it's 209.49 from Chicago in the fall. Yeah. Do you think you'll – will you have another marathon between now and – I think so. I I don't know for certain, but I think so. What do you think has been the strongest part uh, of the marathon for you since you've taken so well to it? You know, just being able to get miles in. Um, This, I I was looking at my training log comparing this buildup for Boston compared to the one last year. And I had put in 200 more miles this year than I did the year before. Uh, And, you know, I hit 130, 140 mile weeks. And it's exhausting, but um, I think it just pays off. And, you know, as, as I've gotten older, I've realized the workouts don't have to be 
the biggest intensity workouts in the world, but it's just a cumulative effect. So. How much of it do you do alone with your schedule? I know sometimes yeah. you have some of the BAA guys out here, but yeah, like... um, probably 60-70% of the miles are on my own. At the start of the season, working out with the guys all the time and doing easy runs together, but you get to a point where it's just like tired and you know, routine is easier than trying to uh, mesh schedules with, with my teammates like Jonas Hampton. Um, and so there was a lot of lonely running out on the river here on the course. Uh, but all the workouts, I have company. Um, yeah. And that's really when you need it. So, so here in, in, in Massachusetts, like Patriots Day is a day off for everyone. You just happen to be working this job here today, but then back to <laughs> yeah. work tomorrow, right? Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> back to work tomorrow. I'm taking a little vacation to Puerto Rico next week, so I've got okay. to get some hours in this week. Yeah. Um, but I, I need some sun. It's been a long winter. <laughs> yeah. Well, Matt, appreciate it, and congrats on the finish today.